Hey everybody, this is Collected Dude. I'm back. I'm going to try to get a picture and or video of this car so you can see it in the daylight. Look at it. I filmed one video already and it uh, screwed up, so I got to do it again. So I'm going to show you this whole thing around the car so you can see what it looks like in the daylight. It's beautiful. I love the crushed orange. I love my blue one, my Harper blue one. If you saw the video for that, check that one out. If you didn't see it, check it out. But um, I just love this uh, uh, crush orange. I paid like extra for um, the package to get the blacked out bow tie and everything. So that's what that is. It looks like a smiling uh, jack-o'-lantern. That's what I'm looking at this. I said the white one looks like a stormtrooper mask. If you see that one. But they, they made the front ends differently. If you see the other one, my blue one, my 2017, this is a 2021 uh, 3.6 liter RS um, V6 3LT. And the 3LT gives me the leather interior and little extra things inside interior, the heads up display and different things like that. It's really cool in the uh, monitoring, side monitoring and everything. It's really cool. It's like some of the things that you can do. But, um, and get when you order these cars it's like here's the side of it I paid extra also for the orange calipers my um, salesman Mike um, over at Dave Gill Chevrolet he really helped me out he pointed different things out because I went on the site the Chevy.com and was trying to build different things and when I went in there uh, in August he told me about different things and he said let's get on this site and build this car for you and we'll get it to you as soon as we can it took about a month a little over a month i think to get it done i was surprised how fast it was it was supposed to be the end of september it got here the first of september but see the orange calipers pay a little bit extra for that but i thought that was cool and the wheels and i see the wheels are going to be a little bit tough to keep clean but i noticed somebody scraped it already i didn't hit anything yet not that i know of but i'm like oh it's a little scrape already so I paid a little bit extra for insurance to make sure that I don't owe anything when I turn this back in or keep it because I'm, I'm loving it. So this is a side view of the car. And I, like I said, I have the RS package. It gave me the blacked out bow tie and the uh, blacked out tail lights and the 20 inch wheels. You see, here's the uh, side monitoring. And I've seen this on other cars when I was driving. Their cars light up too, so this isn't like exclusive to this car. But there's um, this lights up orange when a car gets close to me, so I know it's, they're in my blind spot, so not to change lanes. Also, these are like auto dimming, so when everything gets real bright, it'll get dark. Same thing with the rearview mirror; it'll it'll get dark, so it won't blind, you know you get those people behind you with the brights on or something like that, and it blinds you a little bit, and you don't have, you don't have to flip the mirror or turn your mirror over here, turn it out of the way so it's not blind, shining in your face, it'll just dim it. So I said, oh, that's cool too. Here, this is cool. So I can, see it's open now, but I hit this button here, sorry. Hit this button here and it locks it. Hit it again and it opens it up. Really cool. And here's the rear, the rear wheels. See, these weren't um, more, I noticed on the uh, two LTs, I think and the 3LT when I went and start building more cars I built more cars on the Chevy.com site you just go to Chevy.com and hit uh, build a car and you can build anything you can build a Corvette you can build a, a Camaro you can build trucks vans any type of car you want just build it to your specs and it pops it out and it shows you pictures of it it is cool I couldn't believe how cool it is so check that out but I didn't get the calibers for that but on the 2LTs and the 3LT Camaros it gives you all four you can change the color you can get um, red and I think red and yellow calipers I'm not sure if it'll give you all four blue or green I think it will I mean not green what am I talking about orange it'll give me all four if I got the uh, 2 LT or 3 LT or not no, the 2 SS or the 3 I'm see I'm getting mixing all the numbers up but the 2 SS and the 3 SS it'll give you all four uh, calipers and it'll make them whatever color you pick like, I, I spec'd out a black one with red on it and everything, and I got red calipers, and I did that with a white one and everything. It's pretty cool. But um, the numbers kind of throw you a little bit. I'll be saying 2S, 2SS, 2LT, 3LT, um, ZL1, R, RS, and it's all the numbers. It get kind of confusing a little bit, but that's my camera there. So that's the one for the rearview mirror. When you flick it, it'll change to, like, video form. 
and everything is like shine through it like a camera like a video lens it's pretty cool and there's their speakers back here this thing has nine speakers in it I bought another flag too that's real cool and see this is part of the RS package as well from Dave Gill Chevrolet um, they uh, look at the lights it's just different but I really like them it's a lot of controversy about them online but when you look at them they're like whoa they're kind of cool you see the, just the part here it's just different they're separate again they're not like one piece like my um, blue one was and but they're separate again so I think it's really cool that somebody thought of something different to do with it and here's the RS right here and I noticed this this is kind of dirty so I'm thinking I don't know if they had this down here and they took it off but I washed it and I tried to get it off I have to get some goo gone and put on that to get that off of there but I really don't like this on here but because I have this on there I, but I guess it doesn't matter I'll leave it on and everything but it's okay because th this is an awesome uh, dealership and then uh, I the guy told me Mike he said hey why don't you get it so it's run it's really loud um, it's an RS you can get it real loud but, but by putting the quad tips on it or a uh, uh, louder exhaust I'm like no nah, I don't know and I didn't get it but now I'm thinking <laughs> maybe I should have but it's um dual exhaust but I could have got quad tips on it that would have been cool and these are like sensors and everything for backing up you see the blacked out bow tie and they blacked out the light there and there because usually it's red and these are red but it clashes so I'm, I'm glad that they got this also the hot wheels version looks like this too it's all blacked out lights and i thought about that too i was thinking maybe i should get black stripes and it kind of looked like the hot wheel version but i said nah just i'll keep it all orange it looks really cool it's something about it when it's just clean all um one color like my blue one and then um now this um crush color one but see i, I cleaned the um the wheels off really good wiped them off the um and I sprayed the wheels down. Here's the cap. It's like a push it in. You got the uh, uh, capless um, gas cap. Gas entry. Put that in. They tell you what not to do and what to do. So, and same thing with this side here. Lock it. Unlock it. So, and this is cool. What's cool here, these on both sides are leather. Right here. And this is hard, hard plastic. This has got a metal finish to it. And there's the uh, locks, door locks, window for the side, Bose speaker here. And this is soft here, this is soft, that's soft. It's hard plastic all the way around here, everything. But I think this is a vent, I think. And this was, this is cool too. I, I think this came with the uh, 3LT version, a lighted up thing. I'm gonna have to check and make sure, but it lights up at night. If you see the first video, you see it. it this all lights up, it's really cool. And that lights up too. You see it's got the controls for the seats here, up and back, and leaning forward, and leaning back, lean back. And then, uh, here's the console, and the control, the uh, direction of the air, when you turn the air conditioning on and everything. This is the airbag. So, and these windows um, are really thin, so like when I go through the drive through I have to be very careful so I don't scrape the wheels or anything, but trying to get uh, anything in there that's kind of big, if you get a pizza, or some chicken <laughs> I've tried it before you try to squeeze it through the one you got to like crush it a little bit to get it in there but hey just for uh, having a Camaro I'll do I'll do it okay here there's more side I like the sleek lines on it just the, the cut of it how beautiful it is like the cut up here here on the um, when you, if I would have got a sunroof I had a sunroof in my other two cars I think it was both of them my Malibu's and this would have been flatter and it would have had a sunroof up there and it would have come out and that I think that stays right there the uh, shark fin but uh this is really cool I love this this, this like the sleek lines there here's the um, passenger side wheel like I said the RS package had the 20 inch wheels the, the 18 inches is just a little bit too small I was like I like the 20 inch where it fills up the space. I think they even might have 19, I mean 19, 19, but 22 inches, I think, that I was looking on the site that for the three LTs or the uh, two or three SSs, I think you can get uh, bigger wheels. So here, we're all the way back around front again. You can see the camera in there. And then this is the camera for the heads up display here. So let me go around. I'll get inside and show you some of the inside interior, but you see how beautiful it is in the sunlight, just like my blue one. It, this is just like the warm version. The blue one just really like blasts you in the eyes. This one does it as well, but it's just a different, it's like a flatter, a flat color 
like orange. My blue one had like real like crystal line colors in it. It was really beautiful. So this one here, when I first when I first saw this, I was like, am I gonna like when I was driving to go get it? I said, oh, am I gonna like this? Is it orange gonna be too um, ostentatious, like real bright? I'm like, oh, I don't know. And she said, hey, go out in front, look at your car. I went out in front and, and it was like this, just walking along and I said, oh my goodness, no, I love it. So fell in love with it immediately like, immediately, like I did the blue one. So, and I took a picture with them together. Here's the trunk open up. Uh, when you hit that, when you just reach down, it's really cool because you can just grab, grab here when you're getting out of the, let me get my hand camera right. Grab here and just push that button. Bose speakers. This is for uh, the mirrors and doors. Unlock, these are windows. Unlock, here's mother um, metal covered, assimilated. And these, I can set two settings for the seats. Another lighted thing here. Seatbelts, I wanted, one thing I wanted, love to get was orange seatbelts, but it, w it wasn't uh, offered in the uh, 3LT RS. But I knew I wanted to get 3LT because it was a step up and it was going to be leather. So I said, let me get the 3LT mic. And here's the uh, rear view mirror. I got OnStar. I just set that up, got it done. I got to get my Sirius XM. I got a free month of it. But um, I called them. I got to get them taken care of. Um, here, the, what's cool is the seats are heated and cooled. They're leather. A guy told me, he goes, oh, I don't like leather. I said, what's cool is when you get in there in a hot day, this all lights up and it cools the seats right immediately. This one, um, when it's cold outside, it heats them up. So when I got in it today to get in, because it's warm outside, about 70 something, it uh, cooled the seats off immediately, it was cool. This was another part that I added. It was like 395 bucks or something like that to get the uh, bigger infotainment system. It was seven inches across in the uh, blue car, my Hyper Blue 2LT, but this one, um, it's I, I paid extra for the, th the eight inch one. And it, I can see the difference. The buttons are a lot smaller, I noticed. These are still here. Like I said, I stick my phone here and it still drops down. It gets caught in here and turns on the hazard lights. But uh, that kind of drives me crazy. But I, I need to get me something to hold the, my phone when I'm driving and stuff. And, I, and it also, I got it linked up to my uh, infotainment system so it recognizes my uh, phone when I get in. Gary's uh, uh, phone, it'll show. So you got the, got the horn more here. And this is the dimmer here and the HUD, HUD, light, HUD controls. And here's the paddle shifters. I used these a few times when I had the blue one. I think I'm gonna use them more just to try it, but it, it's beautiful. It's how well it shifts. It shifts so well. I'm like, wow, and it's easy. You, you just watch the um, RPMs and just click, click, click. It goes, it's really nice. So um, here's here. And still, it's, it's like the gold, the blue cloth seats I, or the in the blue car, the cloth seats, it's similar to that but everything's leather so here's the back seat and let me show you a little bit more here this comes up here you see the back seat here and this pulls down which is cool because like when I bought my Gears of War gun and when I had my blue car all I did here you go back here here's the camera and this right here you push this button here and it opens the trunk you can do the same thing with the key key fob as well. But here's the trunk. Everything. It's not a big opening, but you can put a lot of stuff in there though once you get everything past this opening here. And I heard somebody say on one of the videos that they weren't allowed to make the lights come out here. Because I've seen it in other cars where the whole thing comes out the way the lights would be. And you would lift it up and it'd be part of the part of the trunk and it would make it a big opening. But for some reason they weren't able allowed to do it with this car. So that's why the trunk is a lot smaller and the lights have to be the way that they are. So, I don't know, I'm learning more and more stuff about it. As I do more videos on the car, I'll be able to give more information and everything. But this is the release for the uh, trunk if you're stuck in there or something. Uh, somebody throws you in there playing around, you pull out and you can get out. But, uh, oh yeah, let me show you here. See, I don't have any, um, and this is the thing I cleaned with my cleaning rags. And this is what I use to uh, spray the wheels off. It was pretty nice. I got some advice from AutoZone to tell me what to get on there. And I don't have a tow hook. I used to have a tow hook in my blue one right here, but it's not in this one. So I have to ask my dealership, talk to Mike and say, hey, do I get that back or can I get one? We'll see. But that's the back. Like I said, the blacked out lights and everything and the blacked out uh, bow tie was the RS package. Like I said, I could have got dual exhaust 
or I got dual exhaust, but I could have got quad exhaust, but I turned that down. I said, I'll, I won't get it. But let's see, what else do I need to show you? I just want to show you real quick. Hopefully, I mean, it's about 15 minutes long. I don't like the videos to be too long, but I hope you enjoy this. Um, people have asked me to do one in the daytime, so here we go. Like I said, I want to go to Half Price Books, so I'm going to get ready and uh, go there. But let me show you the engine, and then hopefully I'll show you. I can show you a start. So here I can go in here, pull this for the trunk or for the hood, and show you what the inside of this looks like. But uh, I thought that was cool there. Little um, Camaro logo. But here's the V6. It's, it doesn't take up the much, as much space as the V8, but it's, it's really nice. So it's got a lot of power to a 3.6 liter V8. I'm not sure about the specs on the size of the engine and the, um, the, uh, the power and the numbers and everything. So I have to get that, maybe post it in the comments down below once I do the video or just answer questions and stuff like that. Like I said, I'm learning too. Um, I just watched some of these review videos and some of these guys, they just know everything. Rady's rides and everything, he's really good at stuff. So this is really cool, I like this. This cover is nice. Like I said, you can get, I've seen videos with the um, four cylinder uh, turbo and that was in the Malibu car that I had, my second Malibu. The, the sh I had a champagne gold uh, 2015 Malibu and it had a turbo four cylinder in it. This has um, a V6 3.6 liter engine in it as well, or in this one. And uh, like I said, you can get the 6.2 eight cylinder. But like I said, this one was more practical for me right now. It works perfectly for what I need. And I'm, it's a daily driver for me. I guess you could do that with a, a V8. But like I said, I didn't want to um, pay the extra money and get that at, the, at this time right now, but eventually I will. And hopefully my next car, guys, will be a Corvette. Because I've been saving for years for that. So we'll see. But this one I'm going to do, try to do as many videos as I can with this one. I didn't do a lot with the other car too much, but I'm, I'm going to do some a lot with this one. So just let me know if you want to see anything. And if I can get my uh, GoPro, which I keep saying I'm going to get done, set up. I'd like to set it up and do some driving videos. Something like that just to show you. But that's this. So I'm going to back up a little bit so you can see what it looks like. Like that. So hopefully you, you enjoy this. This is a beautiful color, isn't it? I was like, wow. So I'll shut that down like that. And go around here. And let me get inside. I'll show you like what the lights and everything look like when you get inside. You get inside and this lights up here. And the radio does that. So it's pretty cool. And then it'll go to the screen. Let's see what else it's going to do. It might be waiting for me to start it. So let's see. That's it. See, it does that. And then I'll, um, I saw the one for the Corvette. It's really cool. So let's start it. You see that lights up there. And the tachometer and the uh, speedometer go up and shows you. The, what's cool is these are analog and this is all digital. And you got the uh, compass up there, the speedometer. The miles, look how many miles I got on it so far. Been about two weeks <laughs> now. It had three miles on it when I first got it. The guy said, it's got three miles on it. I'm like, really? Cool. So here we go. We'll, I'll show you this, like switching, switching the modes there. That's snow and ice. Touring. Back to sport. I love to keep it in sport because it just sounds better. It doesn't have the crackle of the V8, but it, it's still nice. And see, you see my uh, heads up display right there. That's really cool too. And then uh, you can move it around and see what it does. You can do different things with it. That's spit on, this is speed, different stuff like that. No device found, it's trying to find my phone. I, took, I put it on airplane mode because it was acting up when I tried to film, so. And it's back to, I like this one here because it does the, uh, see the RPMs go up. I think that's cool. But other than that, like I said, all these buttons here, I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to do a, try paddle shifting a lot more this time. Then I got the um, windshield wipers here, the, wind, the, uh, the windshield cleaner and everything, and then the speed. And then here's the um, buttons for the um, heated steering wheel. And this sets the cruise control. Here's the phone. I can do voice only and turn off to hang up on the phone. And this does different stuff with the... Uh, screen to hit the buttons and everything just so I can scroll through to see all the different things I want to see 
just different stuff like that. Remaining, you can see my tire pressures and everything. There's always one tire, I know, there's always one tire. I've said that in my other car. Always one tire that wants to act up. Look, it's, one's at 34, one's at 37. So, and usually when you start driving, they kind of equal out. But uh, we'll see, and there's a timer. Also, too, it lets you know the speed limit, wherever you're at. It's good. I think it uses, G, G, uses GPS to let you know the speed limit. So if you're speeding, um, it'll tell you that, hey, you're, this is, uh, it'll at least show you what the speed limit is. So in case you don't know, you, say, you know, when you drive, sometimes you don't know what the speed limit is. You don't see a sign. And if you ever get pulled over, I didn't know what the speed limit was because I didn't see a sign. This one shows you every area you go to, it'll show you the speed, which is cool. And here I turned um, my device off here so it wouldn't mess up my recordings or anything. But like I said, I'm still learning how to do everything in here. And Blitz is now 10 weeks and on the New York Times. So we got that. What's that? Highway. Fox Headlines. This has so many different things on here. So, and then the music. I think it goes to different, just different stuff like this. It goes to different, a whole many different things. And then sound, I can sh check the equalizer and everything, go up in that. And then fade, and you see the different thing with the seats and everything where it's going. And then what else it goes to? Browse, all the different uh, channels I can get. It's really cool. So, and then just. You see what this is like me here control shows you the temperatures and everything you can mess around with that and navigation i haven't got that hooked up yet and phone if i want to hook up the phone then home and i can move around here and see this the ambient lighting thing here and i can pick the different colors i want in here so it's really cool so I get all the different colors i want to pick and then uh on star apps you can add extra apps to it so it's just cool it's just, there's so many things to look at, so many different buttons to um, mess around with so I can see what I'm going to do. But um, I'm about to head out and everything. Like I said, it's uh, 319. Half Price Books closes at 8 o'clock, so I wanted to try to get to a couple of them, hopefully. And i got to have my mask. i got my mask here and everything. When you go in, they really um, are strict about it, so you got to put your mask on. So, but um, let's see. I'm going to pull up a little bit. That's my reverse thing there and also too I'll show you this here see how it changes now it looks like a uh, camera screen and everything for video and then, then that's just the mirror part right there but this changes it to where it's going through the fin on the shark fin on the top of the car so it doesn't have any obstruction there so if I want to back up back up and go forward it lets me see everything back there that is really cool. I like that feature on there. But uh, other than that, let's see. Let go around here and try to hold the camera and roll at the same time. It's kind of hard. But do two things at once. So here I just wash the car and everything like that. So it looks really nice. It, it um, when it gets when it gets cleaned up and everything it's just you know you, you just you care about your car you want it to look nice so you got it all hooked up and you do the tires and everything get it all done so but that's about it i just want to show you that real quick so you can see the car my 2021 v6 3lt rs 3.6 liter and everything so let me know what you think. Hope you enjoyed that. Like I said, I'm gonna try to get some logos put on this because I'm gonna use it for advertising. I wanna get something I've seen other people pl put um, stuff on here, either here or here, somewhere where uh, it'll say YouTube collector dude. And I've seen some people put it across here. So either there or up there out of the way so it's not gonna get in the way. I have to go to a printing shop or something like that and see if I can get somebody to do a, a YouTube logo. Plus I'm on Instagram right now under collector dude 01 and also on twitter the same thing collector dude zero one so if you want to communicate you can go on there and talk to me and plus my email is, or gmail is collector dude zero one at gmail.com so i'm gonna have some contests pretty soon you see i'm almost at 700 subscribers can you believe that it went pretty quick but i'm giving away those three books i'll do a video of that to show you that um to show you what i'm going to be giving away but i'm at like 698 right now
So, and I think a lot of people, there's a lot of car guys, a lot of car girls and everything that like cars. So that helped out by doing videos of this. Since I'm a collector dude, this is kind of like, kind of cool. It's like a, a superhero car, I think. So um, that's why I wanted to uh, film the car as well. And when I like this, I like the car because I felt like it does feel like a superhero car when you're in it and everything like a sports car and it goes great with comic book type ideas and stuff like that so uh when i um like when i get the sticker on the side that says youtube collected dude that's going to be cool and for coveted comics as well so hopefully that all works out i'll let you guys i'll keep you guys posted on everything but hopefully i can get to half price books and do some videos there some hunt videos and over time i'll do more uh my car videos and like i said thank you dave gill chevrolet very awesome they really took care of me yeah Lisa Pape was my uh, P-A-P-E, she was my financer, financial lady. She helped me out greatly with this, trying to get everything done so it can get me in the car. And uh, Michael, or yeah, Michael Kirkham, he uh, helped me with everything too. It's like when they did the trade-in, it was, everything was so simple. I was in there like maybe two hours from beginning to end and I was out, like I said. And they they really wanted a, a Camaro for their, for their lot because right now Camaros, and Corvettes are just getting ordered and bought. Not, there's nothing that sets on the lot. So they really wanted to have the Corvette on the lot. So I'm glad that they, um, I was able to go there. I gave them five stars. I did the surveys online and everything. And they really did me um, really well. So I'm going to be happy working with them to get a Corvette eventually. But all right, guys and gals and everything, kids, whoever's watching this, I just thank you so much for your support and everything. And I'm, like I said, I'm going to have a contest. I'm um, at 700 subscribers, and I may throw some extra stuff in there because I'm excited. <laughs> you know me. I give away a lot of stuff. So let me know what you think. Um, comment, like, and subscribe. Tell your friends. Share the video and everything. Uh, give me some advice on how I should review the car. Like I said, I try not to get too technical. Like the height of the car is really cool. It's like it's up to my chest. I'm 6'2", so it's like right up under my chest and everything. So it's really cool. And just the doors, the window... Uh, with and everything like i said when you're going through a drive through it's, it's kind of hard but let me know what you think guys and um gals and kids but you guys have a great day and i'll end it off with just a picture like this on the side okay collect the dude is out